Hello and welcome to another video. I'm going to show you how to set up a single boot main system in Windows XP and how to make your BIOS come on and start. We're using a Dell computer so what we're going to start by doing is hitting F2 and that will get us into the BIOS. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to load the defaults. Now on these particular ones, they're a little bit newer, so we have to put the SATA operation to legacy. And then the magic that we're going to do is we're going to go into power management and set the AC recovery to on. That's the only changes we ever make to these BIOSes on these computers. We're going to exit this. I've already put a SSD in here with a hard drive image on which is going to give us Windows XP and um, a, a MAME setup that's a multi-boot MAME but we're going to make that into a single boot MAME. This particular system is going to be Asteroids. There's the setup that is used by the company that we're doing this work for. So on this system actually it's number 7, that will then bring you down and allow you to exit. You press number 1, we're going to exit to Windows. Now because this is a, a setup that's been, been duplicated basically, now we're going to take Mainwire out of the startup menu because we don't need it. Then we're going to go into our C drive and we're actually going to cut main from there and we're going to paste it into the boot directory we're then going to delete the Astro Fighter we're going to rename this main we're then going to go and we're going to make some space we're going to delete all of the config uh, configuration files because we want it on standard uh, we want it on standard configuration we're going to go into the snap and we're going to go control A and delete all the snap files. We're doing this because we're only using an 8 gig SSD and we want the maximum amount of room on the drive. Why it's telling me that I don't know. Okay then so now we're going to go into ROMs and we're going to start at B and delete everything because what we want on this is asteroids as I said before which is just there. Asteroid and Asteroid Deluxe. We're going to delete that. So all we've got in there. Then we're going to go into MAME32. And we're going to change in here the directories. We're going to delete all the directories. And we're going to add our new directory of ROMs. OK. OK. Now this when we now look at available games. will just give us Asteroids. And there it is. So we know that that works now. NVRAM, again, we're going to go Control A and delete it all because we don't need it. Okay, so I'm going to empty my recycle bin and I'm going to make a new text document here. We're going to call it go.bat. Now, you'll notice it says it's a text document. This is because I've not got Windows set to allow me to see it. So I'm going to go into folder options view and I'm going to put take the ticks off these which is hide extension for known and hide protected operating system files. Now go.bat is go.bat.txt and we're just going to delete the txt off the end of it. Okay and we're going to edit that. Okay um, now because we're in the directory we don't need to do any directory changes so we're going to go MAME32.exe space for ROMs. All I'm going to do, I'm going to copy that, rename, copy, paste that there. Okay, we'll go back there and we're going to go file save. We're just going to check that our bat works. Yeah, it does. 
pressing escape to get out. Now we're going to do copy on that. We're going to go programs, go to startup, open all users, paste shortcut. Then we're going to just restart the computer. So this is a 2 gig dual core, 2.4 gig dual core, something like that. It's very excessive for running Windows XP, uh, but it does make a nice quick loading machine. So we'll see the desktop load, and then we'll see Asteroids load. And there we go, we can play Asteroids, we put uh, press 5, we can put some coins in, and then start, easy what's it one, and then there we go, there's your what's that, the space bar and what's it, so there we go. Very simple. Um, I mean, obviously, if you're getting into multi-boot asteroids, now one of the things I am going to do with this, just for the purpose of my customer, is I am going to decrease the resolution of the monitor straight down. Now, I managed to come out and watch it, so I'm just gonna go and just end that task. Shut up. Gonna check that the screen saver's off. Gonna check there's no power management. We're going to go into the graphics options here and realize net framework free is not installed. So there's something we need to make sure net frameworks I mean, net framework three is installed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press control alt and just press my up and down arrows. Now, as you can see, without the net framework installed, we can't disable the hot keys, which means that the window can be rotated. So we've got .NET on a stick. Just going to run the install on this. That's installed now, so we're going to exit that. What that means now is we can go into display properties, graphics properties, sorry. And we're going to go into options. And you see here in hotkeys, you always need to disable the hotkey manager. That now means that it won't rotate. So that's pretty much it. Um, quick and dirty, MAME setup. Uh, for my particular customer now I'm going to duplicate this drive because it's having two done but um, there we go we're just going to do a final check what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the supply there we go there's the computer booted up nice and quick from cold start into asteroids in under 30 seconds so there we go